looks pretty similar with me, Clifford, Wolfenstein. So, we got a chance to talk with Robert again. So, Robart, I need to get to Scalas. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. If you were in my shoes, you'd do the same. My parents died there. I'm a free man, and I don't need to ask anyone's leave for doing what's right. Tell your people to let me out, or I won't be responsible for the consequences. Be glad I'm in a good mood, and won't have it spoiled by some greenhorn. Next time you... Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have said that. But... I could always... something the better you become at it. Cause that's actually how you develop skills but not by putting points in them. Oh I keep on forgetting. The spot that I have to go is like up here then here, then here. <laughs> okay, so. I need to get out of here. Says who? I've never seen you before in my life. And that's odd, seeing as how you're wearing our colors. Cut the horse shit and let me out. You're not here to ask questions. Or would you like Sir Robard to find out you're holding up Sir Divish's messenger? Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> I feel quite hungry. foot I guess that's cool see if I need a toggle run button um, I'll just switch out the shift to that but for now a lot of houses here. Okay, so... I am here and I gotta get back to there. And I have to build a 
watch all of the houses on my In order to pick locks, you must have at least one lock pick, although it's better to have one or two spares. Since they get worn when you use it. Yeah, okay, I figured out all the rest of this. I just wanted to know if there was. I just couldn't wait to find a better path than we have. Oh god, okay. Doggies are usually... He'll be okay. I don't really know how to use the sword anyways. Even really. I mean, that's forty five damage, that's forty four. <laughs> level and stealth. I grabbed the armor, but I forgot to grab the friggin' horse, or whatever. That's why it sounds like they're already gone. Which is true. If I had that lock pick from earlier, I could have gotten out of there. Well, the Emery would have been still there. Which, thinking about that would be super interesting to see a full army here. <laughs> All the place is destroyed. It's a big old dead horse. What's going on there? Hey! Well now, look what's come crawling out from under some rock. Armed combat, yeah. Who has the loot? If he doesn't... Okay. Hmm. Overloaded. Carrying too much. Wrap 
steps here. Well, if we go by weight. Oh, price for that sword is like the best, but weight wise, that's a two. Hmm. Okay, so we'll. I guess I should have got a friggin' horse, eh? The life of the swordsman. Guess I'm just gonna have to find a horse. Man's gotta eat. <coughs> gotta steal to eat. Gotta eat to live. As I'm overweight again. Max, that's not really actually worth it. an axe, I guess I was dropping. Oh, they killed everyone. Yeah, I gotta stop. Uh, Is the charcoal burning? Which is better armor? <clears throat> One and three fifty and seven. Yeah, we'll just drop these in. I know it's not a survival game, but I'm playing it like one. Oh, we didn't God. Do this. What did these poor souls ever do to them? Oh, bandages, that's always helpful. The shrines. Everybody's a little bit of vegetables on them. Answer to my prayer. Just when I wanted to vent my rage on. 
The Germans. His arm's fucked. Okay. Come on, just die already. Hunter gloves, but that's fine. Oh, I don't know what those are, but that helps. So. Yeah. Old boots. Tight hoops. Yeah. I'm still overloaded, damn it. That's because I haven't eaten anything all day. Roasted duck was actually worth like 13 a piece. I just realized I didn't even. Oh. What does it say? Oh, for you, you won't be hungry for a much longer time now, but you'll be clumsy. You've digested everything. <laughs> this whole place is in shambles.
Can I get a reloaded? There's no more shoes there actually. What? Something, not tons of something, but you know, enough to. There's actually a percentage to the health of the um, healing items. I mean, I'd rather drop this, but that's actually with tons of weight, so it actually is very helpful. should have a horse right now and shouldn't be running around here on foot. Uh, statistic there that my sword is covered in <laughs> blood. <laughs> this is where the uh, back pass was. It's probably a lot further away than I thought. That's where I got my horse from originally. Oh, I can run down hills. Because I can't in real life. Yep, there we go. Let's see if she's still here. section of the house, so. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't think they made it. What is that? That looks like a uh, apple press or something. Maybe. They, like, destroyed that house, so.
So it is saying though that my health and stamina are reduced because of, I guess, my condition. Oh, son of a bitch, I came all this way for a horse, a horse. My kingdom for a horse. It's gonna be a slug. So parents would have been dead on this side of the whole everything. Anyways. It's definitely coming down. If I can't get in through here, like I honestly do not know. Oh, it looks promising. Hey, that pretzel's red right side up. What the heck? There's nothing even to loot from these people, really. Bailiff, he didn't run like me. He died with a sword in his hand. Hey, and he's got a gold on him. Nice. after corpse, hoping the next one will be his parents. There she be. She lays pot on top.
I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. <sighs> yeah. Under the linden tree. Yeah. He did love that linden tree. He used to leave that much for you. He spoke about a fun thing. That's a damn good dialogue. Dogs want to play, huh? What's going on? He's a German. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that mutt the butchers? No. Isn't that body the butchers? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? No, no, no. What's that got to do with anything? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are exactly. you? I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Have I disturbed your looting? Yeah, he's a bit space. more of a badass than me. I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it anyway? Mm. My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right at Finger it right and dig that grave with your sword. See how that and where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going. Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take him to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. <coughs> Let's do this. Is that why you're so ill tempered? <sighs> you bastard. Haven't you got a shred of honor? And what of it? The butcher has no more need of corn. And now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. Will you hand it over? The only way you'll touch this sword is when I shove it in your guts. Business to take care of here at last. God, how I wish to be gone from this place. At first, I was buried my parents. Yeah, take off that. Under the 
Wenn denn natürlich. Up there for you and me. Under the linen tree. Under the linen tree. It's nice. God damn item for you too. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, confused. How does one dig a grave with a spade? I could equip that sword, but I can't. I'm sure he said something. That was probably... I want to see if someone magically filled it. Right then, and we can drop the heaviest, which is the 10 cabbages, but... They're worth uh, less than the bread, so...
cock the dog in the head and throw him in the grave too. The dog looks so weird. Man, it's because it doesn't have fur. It's just like a alien smooth. It's like Let's get to it. Tries to eat the parents on the way there. Doesn't have a wagon. Damn it all. <laughs> How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Zbyshek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <sighs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing me. That's pretty blatant evil as people have. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't. You leave me alone. Tell him, Rudd! I cut the bastard down! As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Okay, so this is gonna be a fun. Oh, I'm like dead. Actually, you know, I just fight in this game. Am I dead? No, just beaten badly. I was never supposed to win. Okay. Because I couldn't even land here. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? Mm. Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. Yeah, that would be. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common kid. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go suckers! Hmm? <laughs> the girl with the night booty. The games are over. Fuck. They got 
smashed. Oh. Deep Silver, favorite, favorite game designers ever. Well, producers were, I mean, from Johnny Gat to this. That's cool. supposed to go. Why am I so terrible at these games? Just following basic direction. Like it sounds like it's coming from over here, right? for here. 
I see. There we go. Good enough. Do you need some help? Game's a little bit too freeform for me. In my liking. Crazy creepy. <clears throat> Henry! There's work to be done. Can't even imagine what it'd be like to stand in the ruins of your own. There's a rooster. Mm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. That bug she's wearing is super cute. Where am I? In Scully's? We're at my uncle's mill in Retay. I didn't know where else to go. Well, what happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scallets after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents. I, I wanted to bury them. We all want to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. A few delirious days later. Yeah, having a fever is not fun. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. Mm. Yeah, let's start with that. <laughs> you were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Mm. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? Oh. They killed my brothers. My family. My friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. Oh. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Hmm. She's a different person. Don't say for me. Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robar. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, no idea. I'm tired now. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to she the wears the same the dirty dress every day. Humor back. You must be better. Days later, and she's be still dirty. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live. But my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. 
And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill. My uncle's mill of Okay. I've been lying here long. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. Well enough to do what has to be done. He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannah I know, Sir Isaac. But I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see... You insist. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to end for medicine. Fortnight. Good deal of coin you owe. Fortnight. I've been lying here two weeks. Fortnight. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. <laughs> oh, you you both my life. And I'll repay my... All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. Wait, no, we want to go by highest armor reading. Everything in the truck there forever, never, never. My name's Henry. Thank you for Thank taking, you care. For taking care of me here. My name's Peshe, and I'm the Miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. Miller, oh. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill at the blood letter. What the Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could. But I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. But it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What the way I... I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. Oh. And it's not something any fool can do. Yeah. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What? What do you say? That sounds shady as fuck. Look, couldn't I just pay you instead? I'd say you're a fucking ungrateful pup. But if you think you got money to throw around, so be it. Your payment of costs, and for a whole fortnight of my valuable time. Perfect. Fifty? Okay. I don't have that, I don't much. Have that much. Then come back when you have. Tell me about it. A trifle. Right. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. Oof. And not get caught. Well, Oof. that sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. This is just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right 
moral disposition. Mm. No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want oh, to know you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples. Or if you might be useful for more unconventional. <gasps> oh my god. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring, my mate. What's it? Kohelnitz Miller had his eye on it. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow was dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse. Never read the Bible. Still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side. To make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his house. They're pretty oh savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. God be with you. Sure. <laughs> I really don't even know how to get his food. Have you eaten yet? God, she's fucking filthy. Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Alright. Um... Okay, so we did say there was a spade around here somewhere. That's crapper. Is this how people poop? Okay, um. Somewhere. They make their own flower here. Yeah. Oh. That'd be so fucking awesome. Just start like a little water powered mill. This is a lot harder than it looks. Okay. Okay. It's a lot harder than it looks for sure. Okay. Um.
I haven't seen a spade around here yet. Even though. I haven't looked everywhere. I mean, if I were a I wouldn't be here. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? <laughs> okay, um, let's trade. Hides. I don't. Don't know why anyone would need that. Chick basket. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. What if it's a chick basket? Good sales guy. Spade is paid. It's just a giant cesspit. Okay. 
cave mushrooms. <coughs> I do not see a shovel mm. around Shame here. I can't swim. Oh. Well, that's good to know now. If you're seen doing a crime, it's either a fine or jail if you surrender. Okay. Where can I find a shovel? Yeah. There's one right outside, leaning against the cart. May the Lord watch over. Try and lock this trunk. Hold the lock. Right hand, and use it to feel out the tumble. In your left hand, you hold the blade, and use it to turn the whole mechanism right to left. It's quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Now try poking around in the lock with the pick until you feel the right point where the tumble is. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumble with the pick. Otherwise, you'll be fucked. You'll have to start all over. Oh god, you'll be fucked, okay. You're a damn hand, pal. Make something out of you, yeah. Remember, this trunk's gonna get crashed. Real hard. Try a few more times, like you. Good luck. I have 
a charge of a fine on me. Oh, I think I might have sold someone stolen goods. that stuff. Within one minute we'll have 30 health and dispel hangover effects. Lazarus. Okay. why I'm on any wanted list. Wait for gold flies though. Yeah, be my hunter's club. She wants a hundred and sixty. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, chip basket. And... There you go. Can we do something about the price? I. Since it's you. That's too much. Twenty and I'm like twenty one. What do you say to this? Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. That's a sum I can live with. Yeah. Next time, have a great day.